remember we sorry, <laughs> I mumbled there. Uh, remember to have an opening between the clouds. So you actually have the sun in between here. Because it looks kinda wrong when you have the sun upon a cloud uh, and it just shines through like glass. So uh, make sure you have a plain area here. Uh, okay. Now we're going to just key it uh, or animate it right away so it slides. So you sl you select the the cloud image, just rename it, rename it cloud, and we're going to hit P for positions. Uh, go to the first in uh, the beginning of the timeline. Hit the the stopwatch to apply. Uh, tell that you are going to apply effects. Go to the end of the clip and just. Uh, Slide it using the X, I think. The X, the, the uh, whatever. <laughs> okay, so it starts here. We're just gonna slide a little bit. Remember, clouds doesn't move too much. Plus, this doesn't animate within itself, like well, you see in my other videos, because then I'm using clips, time lapse clips instead of uh, still images. So now we have an animated, uh, animated. We can probably make it move a little more. Okay, that's maybe a bit too much. It's like everyone has their own taste. You just to do what you feel is right. So uh, I see that the clip the clip is ending here. You just go here, select both these two. Hold in C T control, I mean it's control and shift and press D and click delete. Now we cut the cut it or cut it. <sighs> Sorry I'm Norwegian, so I so, not really that talented English speaker. Anyway, now that we have the cloud clip, uh, we can add the sound, we can take uh, care of the colors later. So hit Control Y or go into Layer. Wait a minute. Layer New Solid. We're going to create a new solid layer, but short key is Control Y. And ah, I forgot. I know, really. <laughs> what the hell am I thinking? I thought about something else. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, here we here we have a black uh, black. Yeah. I call it. <laughs> I'm gonna search here flare. I think it's in generate. Oh my god, what am I what, the, what am I doing now? What did I do? Uh, really? Did I have to do this now? Uh, anyway. Located in uh, uh, generate, I think it's in here. Oh, it isn't. Great. Okay, just get to the search bar, search flare, uh, lens flare. This is the app right here, and you're gonna go to mo mode and select add. And if you don't see the these panels, just hit this toggle switch down here. We will get to this. Hit add and adjust the flare center by clicking here. Just click here. Now oh, we have a sun already, and you can see that things are looking pretty neat. And I don't like the. It's okay. Never mind. Uh, so we're going to animate the the flare as well, the sun and. Just go to the beginning of the timeline and uh, hit the stopwatch on the flare center. Go to the ending. We can just use this, uh, this, and you get to the end here. We just move to the end and like go super close. And, uh, this, I hate this. Uh, so when you have done that, you're going to create a new key. We're just gonna. Uh, Move it a little bit down, and I can move it behind this. I can, but then I need to fade it out, and I don't want to do that now. 
There is an effect in optical flares made by Video Copilot that make that do that the flare will disappear automatically when it goes behind trees or anything uh, in front of it, but you can't do it here, so we're just gonna put it there. And sorry if I'm going a little bit slow here, I, I'm not really used to make tutorials. I did the same thing I forgot about telling. Go to the end, hit Ctrl and Shift and D and click delete. So now you have cut the, cut the D layer. So as you can see we have a... I think the sun moves too much or... Okay we can render this in third resolution. And you see it's going really slow. But that's reality guys, it goes really slow, this goes actually probably too fast, so... Well, what the... Ah, I forgot I heard the music when I recorded this. <laughs> yeah, so, now we are actually pretty much done, except we can do some color correction as well, so... Locate the curves, and add it to the cloud clip first. Now actually we're going to use color balance. Go into color correction and locate color balance. And we're just gonna bring up the warm color here. I want to like get a sunset mood. So we're just gonna uh, just uh, play with this uh, so you get it right. Okay, so it looked like this, and now it got this, so it's a big change. I just did pretty quick, and we can also add some uh, uh, color correction to the Minecraft clip, the clip file. Just drag, locate curves, and drag it to the clip. And just gonna bring it a little bit down, it's sunset, so it's darker, and maybe I like to bring the light a little bit up again get some more contrast and get more depth in the image. Uh, I'm gonna make it a little bit warmer, not much, a little bit. It's like tiny details. Uh, if you're not used to work with this, it's like uh, green, less green, green, less green. And there's this is the added to the dark part, the down here, and here's the light part up here. So probably didn't understand that thing but <laughs> if you're used to After Effects you know what I mean okay we're gonna bring down the blue to get the warmer and blue is known to be a cold color I'm gonna bring that a little bit down and as you can see I created a warmer image so there we are guys I think I'm pretty done I guess also if you want to get rid of these borders just select everything right click Pre-compose or relocate it or locate it. I mean, under layer pre-compose. Pre Damn it! Just call it uh, ra. Yep. <laughs> and I miss my tool. So there's my. Ah, damn it. Okay. How oh, this look weird? Workspace effects. Can I reset it, please? Yep. Thank you. Okay, uh, just take the 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 mask tool. This is probably pretty stupid, but just make a mask, holding shift to get a straight line. And create a mask. I really recommend you if you are an Adobe user, you should use Premiere Pro to do this clipping. You have a you have something called crop in there, so don't really need to do this. But if you want to upload clips directly from After Effects, uh, you can do this like this here. So there we are. We have a sky replacement. Well, I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you figured it out and managed to do something on your own. If you really like these tutorials, please subscribe and ratings and comments are really much appreciated. So, thank you for watching. Tell yourself.